What is going on guys, Joe here, and today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 8.1 on your iOS device. Now we recently got an updated version of Pangu, which is going to be the jailbreak tool we'll be using. Uh, now Pangu was released about a week and a half ago to jailbreak iOS 8.1, but it did involve a couple of steps including SSHing to your device, which is pretty easy to do, but maybe a little difficult for some users. So I decided to go ahead and wait it out until they release this new updated version, which is going to be also the English version of the jailbreak tool. So now that it is available, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iOS device. Now there is a couple things to be aware about before uh, we jailbreak. This is only available on Windows computers. So if you do have a Windows running machine, you'll be able to jailbreak your iOS 8.1 device. Now I am running a virtual machine uh, on my Mac because that is what I use. So this is gonna allow me to jailbreak your device. This is in a way you can actually jailbreak if you are using a Mac. So if you know how to do a virtual machine and all that good stuff, go ahead and do so. This is what I'm gonna be using as well. Uh, but before we do start, this is going to be compatible on the following devices. So if you simply scroll down on the Pangu website, which is going to be linked down below, uh, you will be able to jailbreak our iPod Touch 5th generation, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, 5C, 5S, iPhone 6, and iPhone 6 Plus, which is big news. Uh, that is what I'm going to be jailbreaking. I'm going to be jailbreaking my iPhone 6 Plus, which is my daily driver at the moment. Now, it's also available on the iPad Mini 2 and 3, uh, and also, of course, the regular iPad Mini, which is non-retina. Also, the iPad, iPad Air, and iPad Air 2. So, all we got to do is go to this website. Again, I'll leave the link down below. Go ahead and click on Download, and then you'll go ahead and download the jailbreak tool. I have it here on my desktop. And then you also have to have the latest version of iTunes as well. So once we have the latest version of iTunes installed on your computer and Pangu 1.1 will be ready to go. Now before any jailbreak process, I always recommend to back up your device. So simply we'll have to go ahead and connect our iOS device into our computer and make sure it is detected. Now my phone is detected here. Now you more than likely get a pop-up on your device that asks you if you want to trust this computer or don't trust. Be sure to click on trust. Uh, that way it'll recognize your device on your computer and then we'll go ahead and back up our device so after you've backed up your device I've actually already backed it up on my Mac we can go ahead and close this out but be sure you do back that up uh, I can't stress that enough in case if anything goes wrong on your uh, jailbreak process uh, you'll be able to simply restore from backup and get all your data back so once your device is connected and it is detected on your computer we'll simply open up our Pangu application and as you notice, Pangu will recognize your device and it should say what device you have plugged in and then it will allow you to start your jailbreak. Now there is also something else to note uh, just to make things run smoother. Uh, go into your settings and make sure your passcode is turned off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my passcode. If you go into settings, go to your Touch ID and passcode settings. We'll go ahead and turn off our passcode. So be sure to turn off your passcode so it will allow Pangu to do its thing and not require passcodes because it will more than likely cause issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable passcode. And also another thing is disable find my iPhone from your iCloud account. So I'm gonna go also ahead and uh, find my iPhone. We're gonna turn off find my iPhone here. Now find my iPhone is disabled as well. So be sure to turn off find my iPhone and also to turn off your passcode. After you do that, we'll be ready to start your jailbreak. So go ahead and click on start jailbreak. Now after we click on start jailbreak, it does give you some things to be aware about and some other directions to follow. So as you see here, we've already done a couple of these steps, but the one step we need to do now is go ahead and switch our device into airplane mode. So this will allow you to significantly increase a success rate of the jailbreak. So you'll simply go ahead and open up control center and then enable airplane mode. Once we do that, uh, we'll just click on already did. So be sure you're on airplane mode and also you have turned off your passcode and also you've disabled find my iPhone. So go ahead and hit already did and your jailbreak will begin to process. Now on this part, we'll just let it sit, let it do its thing and uh, we'll be back once this is over with. Now I'll go ahead and unlock my device and we'll go ahead and scroll over and we'll now see that we have Cydia and Pangu installed. So we'll go ahead and open up Cydia 
and it's going to prepare the file systems. And then this here will take a couple minutes. We'll just let it sit, do its thing once again. Now your device will go ahead and reboot and we'll go ahead and also uh, we'll unlock our device once again. Scroll over to Cydia and that is it guys. You've actually jailbroken your iOS 8.1 device. Now I am officially jailbroken on my iPhone 6 Plus. So I'm pretty excited to see what is going to be available for the iPhone 6 and the jailbreak developers to, to come out with new tweaks that will take advantage of things like this. The big screens on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. But other than that, guys, it's going to wrap it up for this video. As always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video and this helped you out. And also hit the like button if you're excited for the jailbreak. Go ahead and leave a comment down below what device did you jailbreak and what Cydia tweak you're excited to use on your new jailbroken iOS device. Now, if you're not following me on social media, go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Instagram. I'm always using those, especially Twitter and Instagram. So go ahead and follow me. I'll leave all the links down below in the description. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when I come out with all of my latest videos. And I'm going to be coming out with some more Cydia tweaks. They're going to be coming back. So stay tuned for those videos. So be sure to subscribe. Uh, and uh, that's going to pretty much wrap it up, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate the support. And enjoy your jailbroken device. But I'll catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.